Let's do more of the ability choice mod today. So just a quick overview of what it does. For those who haven't seen it yet, abilities can now be changed to be, well, one of three things. One default, red, either permanent but weaker on the ability, or a blue one, which is a completely new effect. Maybe not based on the ability, but based on the theme of the upgrade path. Thanks to Doombubbles for making this mod, it can be changed very easily simply by right-clicking each of, well, the icons of the ability. So right now, I have the red one, which is a weaker ability. For example, it changes three Nero Darmagays into permanent SMFCs, or the blue one, which does what? The tower itself gains permanent super attack speed and range itself. Now, I'm not going to spend 10 minutes going over every single thing that's been changed with every single middle path ability. Let's set all of them to the blue one, though, because last time I, I played it, I don't think the blue one existed. For your convenience, though, I'll leave a link to the document with that lists everything that each ability does in the description. And also, I'll periodically throw it through on the, throughout the screen right now. So maybe you can take a read while I explain what the hell this map, this modern map is. Well, it's Railway. Apparently, it, it's, it's a real map. A real map that was featured in BTD4 and BTD5 Deluxe. I believe this art is from the BTD5 version, which kind of perplexes me that they made art or that art looked like this in BTD5. This was a Flash version, but still, gee, what a long way graphics have come in like 10 years. Am I right, folks? Anyways, uh, let me just double check here. Yep, everything is now turned into blue. So let's see what Turbocharge does. Just a moderate attack speed increase and boomerang shock balloons. That's a very cool effect. Same with the perma charge. I'm definitely gonna buy this because it looks, well, interesting. You also might think this map is an extra map, but it's actually not as hard as it seems because the balloons like that come from the left and right lanes. They don't immediately exit. They take one loop around the middle of this rectangle thingy and then it exits, which explains why we haven't like died already. The answer to that is just there is a lot of long paths. Anyways, let me go for a blade shooter. Attack is great because since everything goes around that rectangle, every blade will hit. Plus, I am going for the Maelstrom because it is the cheapest. The cheapest tier 4. So let's see what new effect the blade Maelstrom has. Blades have additional range of pierce and now seek out balloons on their own. Wow. Who needs a seeking projectiles mod when you can just enable this one? Also, don't mind me, I sold my free Dark so that I could buy this for a little bit cheaper because of my knowledge. And let's see, wow. Now that is funky looking and cool. And in fact, yeah, great for this map here because apparently this wasn't as good as I thought. At least for like balloons coming into the three middle lands. They seem to move by pretty quickly. I'm getting injured clean this all this up here. In case you swear you've seen this before then, trust me, it's not deja vu. I, th I thought the same thing too. It's just I think I I, I I think I did do a showcase of the Sea King projectiles on the blade. So it's definitely ringing a bell. But I definitely did. It was not from this mod. That's for sure. I think we'll try to save up for the turbo charge before round 40 comes in. So here we go. Buying the moderate attack speed increase. And what are we looking at? Looking at five damage thanks to the laser shock. And I think that that helped beat the Moab. Now, I actually don't know if the shock effect works similar to the Darling Gun, because if you don't know, Laser Shock is not a damage over time effect. It's simply a plus one damage giver. Well, I mean, by definition, it is literally a damage over time, but it doesn't work the same way if you know what, know what I mean. I mean, like, by replacing or already hitting a Shock Balloon, that Baron gets the extra damage. I'm bad at explaining things, but I hope you get the points. Now, what's the next tower I want to go for? Let's go for something, again, cheap. Cheap and good. I, I want to say the wizard. How, how does a phoenix work on this mod here? So let's see. Wizard gains the attacks of the phoenix itself non-globally. Okay, so we just stack a deep breath on top of the deep breath then. Because the phoenix, isn't the phoenix literally a, a dragon's breath? I mean, I know the projectile is a little bit different, but I guess we'll see for ourselves here. Can I see anything? I'm watching very closely. And it seems like it's just shooting the exact same projectile. I, I barely even see it shooting at, like, a higher speed. Or that it's shooting, like, additional deep breath attacks, so kind of underwhelming in that case. Looks like the same goes with the Wizard Phoenix. You know what, let's sell this in it in hopes we get something else. After all, there are, like, 22 towers to showcase new abilities from, which I'm definitely not going to be able to go through all of them in this one. 
that is most likely a heads up. Let's go for a glue. What does glue strike do? Weakens balloons, making them take increased damage and be vulnerable to sharp sources, like permanently with the glue. I assume that that's what it does, like you said, with, like, without the ability. So that that's actually pretty good, I think, since my blades do fairly weak damage. To help the clutter, let's get rid of the Jitsu too and go for pure ability. So Mob Assassin. Main attacks do further increase mob damage with more range. I guess fairly standard. Not all these are going to be like, wow, completely new stuff. Some of them are fairly moderate, which is understandable since there's so many upgrades. And it's meant to be more of a balanced mod rather than a wow uh, special effect mod. So in that case, maybe it's possible to get through all of them. Let's actually go for some more farming in the form of uh, snipers. I'll move it over here, actually. What does this do? Bullets bounce more? But the regular attack also damages uh, leads and increases shrapnel. Oh, wait, do we lose the uh, money-making capabilities? Oh, no. It looks like that's the case. Like, they're, they're just turned into pure damage towers. Also, I'm dead. Yep, I am dead. Here's what I'll do to salvage. Maybe outbuffing and then giving extra damage on it will be helpful. Let's see. Yep, that's how you do it. Sniper monkey carry. Now, before we die to wave two, two and three... Uh, Let's just go for... Uh, let's see. What does Jungle's, Jungle's Bounty do? Nearby income generation is increased by 20%. And can now also grab two balloons with vines at once. Isn't that what it... That's what Jungle's Bounty normally does, doesn't it? Or do they mean it doubles, like, on top of what's already uh, being given? Which, in that case, is, uh, like, well, a, a huge buff. Also, this was a dumb idea because it's not even in range of any farm, nor is it under... Uh, Monkey off. Let's, let me just quickly replace it. Let's go for Spike next. I'm just going in random order. No, no, uh, no reason. Spike Storm gains an extremely accelerated production for the first few seconds of each round. That actually doesn't seem very strong at all. Like, right? Because it's not, it's not, it's not like a, a perma spike, but okay. Never mind. That, that's a lot of spikes. I suppose that makes up for not having a Spike Storm then. We basically have a localized Spike Storm entirely in our neighborhood. I'm also just kind of curious, if I go to Jungle's Bounty, is it does not stack as I most likely expected. What does Ice Monkey do? Cold Aura that partially slows more class balloons, so that's just an absolute zero at home. And absolute zero just slows even further, and globally buffs attack speed Ice Monkey is kind of standard. Just so we can go through as many upgrades as possible here, I'm just going to sell some of the ones that you kind of already saw tier 4s, and tier 5s are too much more interesting. Let's try what it, let's see what a first strike does. Ballistic missiles do more damage and then further increase against mobs and ceramics. Okay then. It only seems like it's packet pang punch from what I'm seeing on those BFBs and mobs there. Let's see. Yeah, like 70 damage per strike is uh, very good. And pre evident strike, ballistic missiles do even more damage, further increase against mobs and ceramics. Cool. Before that though, let's try the other water tower. What does a monkey power do? Adds new two cannons, and the cannons' attacks do more damage. And then damage bonuses to mobs and serams are increased. And last I remember of this mod, the middle path monkey, Sarbama, spawned mini ground zero bombs that were localized, but how about the perma effects? Let's give it a go. After we jump into free play here, let's see. Bomb damage increased significantly and shoots a continuous stream of bombs. Ooh. That sounds pretty fun. And indeed it does. It's like playing... Snake with ground zero bombs, except, well, we're not on a grid here. And you know what? I am a, I am actually a very big fan of this, this ability here. It's very fun. And not often do you, like, we have to, uh, how do you say it? What I mean is that normally the uh, ground zero bombs are an afterthought, but now since they're actually all the damage, uh, um, yeah, it, it's fun. It's fun seeing it go to work. It's 10 damage per mini bomb, so that definitely adds up. Star Bomba sounds like it'd be bomb to get, pun intended, so I'm actually gonna do this as my first tier 5. Sounds fun. I'll just give him Way Monkey for the uh, the random factor. You never know where the bombs are gonna go. I'm gonna make every balloon out here skip shitless. Okay. Next one, how about the Robo Monkey in Detect Terror? Sniper and Druid, you think you probably already get the point, so let's just get rid of those. Uh, and, uh, let's see. Nanobot Plasma seeks out and destroys balloons with strong crit, so another homing. Sounds very fun. Now, let me see if I can try to see an action. Yeah, it, it looks like similar to how the Dark Champion seeks. Look at that. Random green plasma boss flying everywhere. This is, uh... This gets my, my seal of approval. 
I assume Anna Bloom, yep, it does the exact same thing with its subsequent upgrade. Let's see with the uh, Balloon Sabo. Ninja's attacks have more range uh, and slow balloons to half speed. Interesting. Permanently or just temporarily? Uh, and also with Grand Sabo, Ninja's attacks have further increased range of Pierce and do more damage to stronger balloon types. Which sounds good, but pretty sure you don't go middle path just for to increase damage of the Ninja. It doesn't sound like it's like a crew mob type thing. Just increases damage on itself. Pretty much don't be buff. Doesn't already do that. Anyways, when the hell did I have 155,000? Let's just get the uh, permanent seeking sewer maelstrom blades and the perma charge too. Perma charge sounds fun. I hope we're not suffering from a case of too much going on already because uh, there's still so many more upgrades in a test. Here's 98, by the way. I I'm just curious to see. I'm pretty sure uh, you know, Sarbama and uh, Tector are basically carrying the load. Tector most more so because. Uh, this thing was dropped way later. I guess Seeking Projectiles does really go hard in the paint. GG, easy. So just 100 rounds. Uh, I suppose I haven't yet tried the Alchemist. Transform Tonic gains a monstrous laser beam attack. With looks to match it. Ah uh, yes, monstrous. Uh, however, it does... It does seem to shoot at a slower speed than the normal tier 4. If I do faster throwing, does that increase? That should inc increase the attack speed. Regardless, I am dead. Oops. Again, these late game runs hit you like a truck. <laughs> we were recruiting so long, so I thought we were fine for these runs, but nope. Retry. Okay, Engineer sounds like a really fascinating one. I think. Overclock? All timers range have increased attack speed. Do we get... Nah, yeah, nice. We got a little icon. I don't know what the percentage is, but... Screw it. I think Ultra Boost would be a great help. And on that note, how about Called Arms? It's also like a permanent nearby attack speed. And then Homeland's a permanent... Strong attack speed buff, sure. Let's see if just attack speed buffs are alone to kick us over the edge. I think looking at this super monkey damage, uh, it certainly seems like it. Oh, indeed. Yeah, there, there, that is getting destroyed very quickly. Maybe I went overboard on getting both at the same time. I sure did. Well, at least I can showcase now without having to worry about dying. So I didn't do the T-Rex yet. This I obviously didn't see. Because it is recently added. T-Rex is huge jaw and sharp teeth deal. A ton of damage and stun with each bite. Love to see it. In fact, I think this is too good for its utility. That's a crap load of stuns despite only being power 16. But with extra money, don't mind me getting a Giga. So what does this do? Stuns just last longer. And yada yada yada. Here we go. I'm gonna sell... Let me sell the homeland. I think we're doing too much here. I'll get it back though. If we start to fail again. In fact, okay, maybe I shouldn't have sold it. Let's get at least call arms back. I think maybe keeping that around is okay. Sheesh, that almost backfired quickly. <laughs> I think all that's left to finish off is Darling Gun, Mortar, and Heli. So let's quickly go through it. Rocket Storm shoots a single stream with the same accuracy as the main attack. And uh, I would assume same with the Mad, yeah? Oh my god, it's, it's a tiny Rocket Storm, guys. Very tiny. I wonder if it still has the same ability to stun because of the monkey knowledge. It's hard to tell because I already have giga stunning things. No, I can see it in the top left corner. It does stun. So frankly, not a bad compromise to uh, the permanent ability. Let's see what else. Bombardment slash artillery battery. Main attack just has even more barrels, even more attack speed. And then the main attack for popping off stuns balloons and have a has a turbo attack speed permanently. Yeah, that's, that's a... That's a lot of DPS, at least for a mortar. Okay, let's just get rid of it and showcase the last tower here. So, support Chinook can pick up and redeploy more monkey types. Downdraft can damage mob class balloons. Uh, and then this one, the, the Marine Monkey shoots from within the machine gun. That's fascinating. Marine is one of those uh, abilities that basically has permanent uptime as long as you spam it. So it makes sense that it looks like it's the power of just one marine at the moment. Let me just see what exactly I can pick up that I couldn't pick up previously. No, it seems like I can pick up... I'm able to pick up the same amount of things I can. And with that, I covered everything. Actually, hang on. I did not do the farm. What does this do? Oh, it's... Okay, it's pretty basic. It's only increased bank capacity. In other words, nothing of value was missed. I also completely forgot Dharma. Yeah, I remember how I read the description, the description at the start. But I never ended up actually buying the upgrade itself. So let me just show you. Permanently shooting Plasma Blast? Holy... That's like a triple shot plasma monkey. Well, I guess considering it's supposed to harness the power of 20 dart monkeys with fan call ability, 
It makes sense that the solo one alone should be, uh, well, shooting a lot of projectiles, with, which it is, so. Cool. Not sure what's left to do, so I'll just ride it out with these cowards here. I could probably just go infinite rounds if I drop every tier 5, but I think I'm just looking at a showcase today, so let's see how we can, if we can pop this bad here. With one loop, I definitely think so. In fact, I think Carbon Spikes plus all these overclock stacks are uh, simply too good. Or it's just that we have, you know, 10 tier 5s and that's why it's popping instantly, so no surprise that we be 140 very easily there. Sheesh, round 153 and still going strong. It's again proof that, hang on, I'm actually dead. No, I somehow didn't die, thanks to the life gain of the Wall Street. But that was close. Giga's doing a good job of just chomping everything in radius and keeping them all stunned. But as I was saying, proof that rail track is not really that hard of a map if we can seriously make it this many rounds here. Only a matter of time before it's GG. Yep, there it is. Uh, FZMG's finally ran through. Let's just take a quick look at the uh, pop counts here. So, uh, 4 million, 5 million, 3 million, 6 million. Again, I, I knew it. It was the carpet spikes carrying us pretty much all this time. That's it, though. Once again, thank you to Doom Bulbas for creating this awesome, awesome mod. Since there were a lot of new abilities here, I may have hastily gone through uh, a lot of them. But if you maybe want me to do another one of these, then uh, show your support. And maybe we'll focus on some more specific upgrades by a popular request. That's all. See ya.